told you I don't know how many tales of daring do to tell you, because, as people have said, flying with Erdi was, uh, was usually very unremarkable. Uh, his handling, as everyone agrees, is extremely smooth. What nobody has said, of course, is his thought processes. And the art of flying is very much in thinking ahead of the aeroplane. And Ernie was so far ahead of the aeroplane, he was in this crossbar drinking his first pint. <laughs> and the rest of us were doing the art to take off. <laughs> Uh, because because uh, I never had any serious incidents with her, and it doesn't mean that we didn't have some interesting ones. And he did upset my equilibrium one day. Uh, it was during a tachyval, and I seemed to find myself crewed up with her, and he got a lot of my tachyvals. And uh, we'd been airborne for, for a while, and the exercise was declared over. But for some reason, we weren't allowed to uh, dump fuel that day. And uh, my plan to uh, do a, coastal, a coastline recce at 200 feet with the air brakes out at maximum speed was quickly vetoed by Ernie. <laughs> and we finished up back in the St. Norwood circuit. And uh, so I had flying circuits, and uh, I was wondering, you know, I've done about three normal circuits. You never just do normal circuits, for those who, uh, who are not experienced in this field. Uh, you, you try and make them a bit more interesting by changing the aircraft configuration to situations that you might experience on a rare day. In fact, I don't think they've ever happened, have they? But, uh, they could. So I was waiting for Ernie to say, oh, let's do one with the air brakes out, or let's do a flapless, or uh, let's, uh, I'll just fade a couple of engines on you, we'll do a two-engine approach. And it didn't happen. I kept flying round and round doing these orbital circuits, and I think, what am I doing wrong? I must be doing something wrong. Otherwise, he wouldn't keep me doing these ordinary circuits. So I kept making tiny adjustments to these circuits. And I can tell you, by circuit number 10, they were perfect. <laughs> absolutely nothing wrong with them. And I began to get very nervous now as to when these two engines were going to get shut down. But they never did. I, I logged 15 landings in my logbook that day after that sorting. We went back to the scrust bar and they said to her, and he said, Ernie, why do we just do normal circuits all the time? He said, oh, I was really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I think from the twinkle in his eye, he knew exactly what he was doing. But, but just to summarise, yes, we all agree, he was a wonderful pilot. I loved flying. I looked forward to flying with Ernie for two reasons. Because I knew I was going to learn a lot and I was going to enjoy it tremendously. <laughs> And he never let me down in that regard. He was a wonderful man, and uh, I'm very sad that he's left us. But what a wonderful legacy he's left behind, as we've heard today. So thank you, Donna, <laughs> and your sisters, for laying on this occasion and giving us the opportunity <coughs> to say how much we loved your father. And we did. <laughs> <laughs>